speaker today. Uh, it's going to to tell us about uh, low low costs and uh, highly available um, container based OGC web services. Uh, we're going to have on stage uh, Carlos Eduardo Mota, which works in the CPRM, the Brazilian Geological Survey. And Carlos has been a, 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 an instrumental person in the transition uh, of the organization towards uh, open standards and open source and open data. Uh, so, uh, Carlos, welcome, and uh, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you, thank you, Joana. Uh, this is my debut in the Phosphor-G. Uh, not, not only me, but the CPRM2. I think I think uh, it will be a great experience for me and for us from the Brazilian, Brazilian Geological Service, because uh, we will show, we will show in the last two years of work with uh, Phosphor-G and uh, migrations for uh, with the and migrations from proprietary software to open source software. Let me put my presentation. Okay, Joana. Uh, if you may, uh, if I can start. Uh, I, th I think your presentation is. Uh, is your, your screen is. 4 p.m. My presentation. Uh, is it's twenty minutes. Yeah. Okay, but I but should I should I start at four p.m. Uh, I think I think you can start now if you want. Okay, let's go. Uh, good afternoon from Brazil. Uh, I'm Carlos Eduardo, and I will show you the testimonial of uh, uh, the last two years of uh, our experience with uh, free and open source software. Uh, as I said, this is our debut uh, for me and from the, the Brazilian Geological Service. And uh, it's an honor for us to join the event. Uh, this work is was executed with uh, uh, me and Alvaro, uh, that was a, a colleague from the division of geoprocessing of the geological service, and uh, the other two colleagues, Marcelo and Marcio, uh, from the IT infrastructure. Infrastructure. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the Geological Service of Brazil, uh, known as CPRM, is a public company linked to the Ministry of Mines and Energy, which is responsible for the Geological Service of Brazil. And our mission is to generate and disseminate geoscientific knowledge with excellence, uh, contributing to improve the quality of life and sustainable development of, the, of Brazil. And our vision as a, a company is to be a reference in the generation of knowledge uh, in the development of the effective solutions in geosciences for the well-being of the Brazilian society. Uh, but, the, but our company is passing for a, a, a digital transformation, and this transformation is under, press, uh, under progress. And now, how, what is the current scenario? Uh, our company is, is a working node of the ENDE, is the Brazilian Spatial Data Infrastructure, and uh, uh, we are a member of the One Geology Initiative. Uh, both of these uh, two spatial data infrastructures has uh, open standards formats to regulate the, the data specifications, the, the, the data formats, the service formats. And historically, our company used the proprietary spatial data infrastructures and proprietary data types for the last uh, two year, uh, 20 years. Uh, the first SDI uh, installed into our company is since the late 2000s. And historically, uh, it was a big struggle to 
uh, integrate the, the proprietary formats to open source formats. Uh, it's very, it's for, or to, it was a very difficult effort that we, that we improve to integrate uh, services, pro proprietary services into the, uh, the into the Brazilian spatial data infrastructure and uh, in the one geology and uh, and so and so the our data uh, our data level gets a lot of time to make it publish and the, the, and the available to the to the, the to the Brazilian people and for the world and for the world too uh, in the last uh, five years uh, our company is experiencing a, a, a internal growth of the geo side developments as I said because uh, uh, people like me, I'm not a, 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 a IT specialist, but I'm a geologist. Uh, I'm work, I work with IT in the last 12, 13 years. And uh, uh, I, developed my, I developed my skills here, uh, even the, in the Brazilian Geological Service and in my uh, other, other job in the uh, in the state of Espírito Santo, and uh, people like me and the other colleagues, mainly geolog geologists and geophysicists, are developing uh, little solutions using uh, GIS, uh, data science, machine learning, and the other when the other uh, tools uh, mainly use Python or or R, and uh, the the company. Uh, has little initiatives of development of uh, uh, AI, of uh, inter uh, artificial intelligence models. Uh, for example, uh, I'm a software named Quimin, 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 that was published uh, yesterday in the, in the, in the, what's the name of the, the journal? Ah, okay. Uh, this, this software, Quimin, was published in the, the journal computers and geosciences, and then another solution uh, named the rock plot. Uh, the two solutions worked with uh, mineral chemistry. These are the, the, the two SDRs that our company uh, works to. The END, uh, the, the Brazilian SDI, uh, our company is a, a founder member, uh, and the other here is the one geology that our company is a member, and uh, all of them is based on open source software like GeoServer, uh, GeoNetwork, and uh, PostGIS. Uh, the one geology uh, so uh, uses a, a, a specific plugin from GeoServer to display GeoCML data you, uh, using the app schema. Uh, plugin. Okay, what is our uh, IT challenges inside our company? Uh, the first is to provide scalability and uh, distribute the company uh, computing uh, for our services, mainly the, the GIS services, uh, to maintain a sustainable structure, uh, focusing in decrease the man maintenance efforts. Uh, Transform the, 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 transform the, the, the data inventory in, to be accessible in web APIs. Now we are, we are using WMS, WFS, WCS, and in the future, uh, I suppose to use uh, OGC API. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a question about the future of our company because uh, we are established with, uh, in, in our IT infrastructure, the use of uh, uh, virtual machines, and we we are planning to to replace some of them to containers. Né? Uh, now we are using Docker. I will show you later. Uh, establish a, a, dev, a DevOps pipeline for in-house solutions, because uh, because not uh, uh, the the IT specialists are de developing solutions inside our company. We are geologists, we are geophysicists, 
working on the same uh, on this on the on, uh, working with the same type uh, and the, for me is the principle uh, change proprietary data formats and services to phosphog as soon as possible and uh, these are supported uh, to brazilian laws the uh, I'm, I'm citing to you three of them the law the information access law from uh, from 2011 the internet regulation law from, from 2014 and the standards for the for the electronic government uh, that are describing on the ordinance s how timp 192 uh, so from 2014, in this last, especially, they they specify uh, some uh, data formats even for the spatial data uh, like uh, shape files, uh, GeoJSON, the the OGC web services, and so on, and the metadata. And uh, uh, about uh, about our culture, about two year, 20 years of culture of. Uh, proprietary software that we uh, have to struggle uh, use phosphor -G. we have to migrate not we are not choosing to migrate we have to migrate to phosphor -G. this is a little infographic about the difference entre virtual machines and uh, containers uh, the classic model of virtual machines and we have the bare metal the the machine here a, a virtual machine mais, a manager called the uh, hypervisor. Uh, each instance of virtual machine with a separated uh, operational system and uh, libraries, binaries, and uh, applications separately, separately here. Uh, in this case, we have three machines uh, isolated each other and uh, three suites of uh, App of libs and the uh, apps one of some of them here and uh, we, we can deploy containers best uh, mainly in two in two scenarios the first directly on bar metal installing uh, our hardware the operational system with the the, the container the, the container d uh, demon and uh, containers for each app uh, to each application and the second the, the second scenario uh, containers in virtual machines uh, when it's a hybrid of the first and the second situation and uh, uh, each virtual machine has a container the demon a, cont a controller to uh, to containers and these machines, these virtual machines, these container D demons uh, should uh, talk with them each other, should communicate with each other. And uh, this, this scenario is interesting when, when we have uh, uh, multi-operational multi system virtual machines like uh, uh, Linux with Windows. So, the solution that to, that you, uh, we used to uh, or to, to start to deploy to to orchestrate our containers is Docker with the Swarm system. This is a, a self-distributed architecture. This schema was picked from Docker.com, and the, in, in in review, this this is the main. This is the, 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 the main schema. Uh, we have a Docker host, a server that hosts containers. We can uh, send comments to this host uh, uh, with a client, could be uh, in command line, could be uh, by a, a web admin, a web app, a web application. And uh, these containers are provided from images, from Docker images. And the containers are uh, images that runs uh, that is that is in execution. And these images uh, could be, uh, these images are stored in another service called a registry. And this registry has uh, images for uh, several services. Uh, 
operational systems, map servers, databases, uh, metadata servers, and so on. And this and this registry uh, in, our, in our company we uh, we could uh, we are using three types. We are using from the the official Docker registry. We constructed our registry, our own registry, and uh, uh, in some types here, uh, I seldom, in seldom cases, we use uh, third-party registry, like Quay.io and so on. Uh, this is the, the architecture, the example from Docker. We have uh, nodes, Docker hosts, that are managers of the cluster. We have uh, worker nodes. Uh, there is a, a distributed state, uh, a distributed file system. And uh, this this storage, uh, this storage is is available for all nodes, uh, and uh, the containers could be deployed in any node. We will detail this later. Okay, uh, so uh, we are on hub.docker.com. We are. Uh, we are giving examples about the official images hosted in this service. These are the Geo Network uh, of Docker official image. Uh, this is ready for use. Uh, and there is another example compiled by the, the community. This is another example about the Geo Server. There is, a, there is a, an example from the, the, the Geo Node. And the others from Thinkware, there, there is a lot of a lot of images like uh, uh, Cartosa and so on. But uh, we preferred to build our versions of these services. Uh, so we have our uh, self-built versions of uh, GeoServer, uh, GeoNetwork, MapServer, all of these services that that we used into the the in, in the in and the SDIs or the, the, the one geology, we use uh, our own build images. And uh, we, why, why did, why did you, uh, why did you, uh, we build our service and not use the, the community? Because uh, we use this, this step to learn the technology, learning Docker, learning the, the structure of Geo server and so on. And this uh, gives us uh, experience, uh, skills to build our own images. This, uh, uh, this is uh, our example. Uh, this is one of the, the self-building images from, from our company. This is a geo server image uh, based on a, on a Tomcat uh, official image. Uh, this image could, could be it is available in the Docker Hub. It's not the uh, stable image, but uh, we are uh, developing, we are improving a lot this image. Uh, and one of the characteristic, characteristics of this image that is we can, in the runtime, install uh, some of the, the plugins available at the GeoServer repository. And uh, the main difference entre the GeoServer used into the Brazilian SDI and the One Geology is so about the app schema uh, plugin because of the GeoCML format that is used on the One Geology and is not, and not used into the, the Brazilian SDI. This image if, uh, also have uh, uh, also have a capability to install Oracle drivers. Uh, we should uh, we, we should test uh, test some uh, integration with the proprietary uh, SDK, uh, ACW SDK from the from the, the image the image from the compact image format and uh, so. Let's see. Uh, this this one is the Docker Compose made by, made it by us. And uh, here we we built the stack of services. 
In this case, this is from Brazilian SDI from END. We have the the services of a, a, a proxy, a, a reverse proxy, a self-image from our hub, docherhubs.cprm.gov.br, uh, a geo server with uh, some, some of uh, <laughs> characteristics of the, for, for the service and a, a, a database as a container. We have we have the service tested and the deployed in our uh, in our infrastructure and this service is available to use into the Brazilian SDIs. Okay, uh, this is the schema of the, our, the of the, our infrastructure. Uh, what we are developed in the last year. Uh, I think ah okay I I I think I see the the, the pointer here okay uh, basically we we should split our environment in three areas uh, the public zone the internet the the military zone and our internal network our intranet uh, the requests the requests that are, that are come that are coming from the public internet. Uh, crosses our firewall, and there is a, a, a pool of HE proxies uh, receiving uh, these requests. These HE proxies has a, a special characteristic that uh, uh, one monitor each other. Uh, so the, this, this first HE proxy is uh, observes, observes the second uh, each. HE proxy and vice versa. Uh, the software that we use to monitor each other is the Keep Alive D. Uh, uh, so, if one of these hosts uh, goes down, uh, we have two. We have two IP. We have two IPs uh, that moves into the two uh, the two hosts. Uh, from inside, from inside them, we can. We can pull to the internet, and uh, here we are. Here we have the, the Docker hosts. Uh, we have a network, an ingress network, and uh, this one, this one, the, this uh, the connections enter from here, identified by the host name and the port, and uh, there is a pool of traffic uh, software that uh, redirects the redirects the connection by the name by the port to the the, to the private network of the stack that uh, was requested. Uh, from the back end, we have uh, a database, a database, uh, Oracle or Postgres, and we have a shared file server too. Now, uh, in the current in the current moment, we have eight nodes of uh, Docker hosts, three managers and five workers. Okay, we administer, we, uh, in addition to the, 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 to the command line, we administer the, the cluster with a web app application uh, using the Portainer, Portainer.io. Uh, we use the community version, there is a paid version too. And uh, even the community version uh, suits a lot of functionalities that uh, Helps a lot to administer the cluster. We have a registry uh, use the software portals uh, from the, the SUSE community. That, uh, even with the, the, the portainer, we have a community version and a paid version. In this example, we have an image of a, a map server built for, our, for, for us. Uh, uh, portals are. are Portals uh, hosts our hosts our images and it scans for vulnerability for vulnerabilities. There is a, a service called uh, I forgot the name. Claire. Okay. Uh, there is a service, a CLEC, uh, which monitors our images to scan for vulnerabilities. This is our page on the, the hubber docker.com. 
with which which are our containers some of them are public i think that this list grows a little okay the main advantages and the, our, the lessons that we learned uh, first using a solution sample 100% uh, phosphor g uh, the, the cost of the maintenance is decreasing because it's less virtual machines to maintain uh, there is a, a higher uh, there is inside a, a, a higher a higher viability and a load balance environment provided by the dock swarm we can uh, increase or decrease the, the the quantity of the the containers executing the same service the uh, scalability uh, uh, applied individually uh, with uh, or a uh, microservice oriented uh, the worker nodes doesn't need, doesn't need to be at the same data center uh, we install our ambient in brasilia but uh, our company has 13 uh, data centers <laughs> uh, this works on low cost machines uh, i think we uh, we tested the on the uh, uh, intel core 2 quad uh, cpu i think it, it runs on raspberry p4 uh, equal dev and production environments, it's a, a, a good a, a main requirement to establish a DevOps uh, pipeline. Uh, the, uh, we have a lower effort to backup data. Uh, we, we doesn't have the, the, the to backup all of our cluster. We only backup the data node and the controller node. Uh, Make the make this image, make the, the, this material, this image public and available for official or using uh, images from reliable sources like Bitnami, Cartosa, and so. And the creation of our own images. We created our geo server, our map server, our uh, versions of uh, uh, other GIS services. Okay. Finishing current and future challenges for us to make public our Docker images, uh, documentation and publishing on GitHub. It's the, this is in progress. Uh, to migrate our geo network uh, working on the Brazilian SDI, uh, that is in this version uh, 2.10, to the uh, version 3.10. This version are homologated from the, the, the ENDE. This is in progress too. Uh, uh, a source of research that uh, uh, we can try to detach GeoWeb cache from GeoServer to isolate the process of cache generation from the, the service uh, availability. Uh, cascaded OGC WXS services like uh, uh, isolate the static maps like uh, images, geology one to five thousand, and put in a, 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 a separated OGC server like Map Server. Review the data publishing workflow to end to improve our uh, data flow, our metadata flow to publish our information uh, in high speed. Uh, our, our cluster we, uh, has a single point of failure uh, that was the, the file system. We are studying uh, alternatives to, to change the, the network file system for, for cluster F, uh, file system. Uh, establish a centralized log collector for the containers that are, that are executing. Oops. Uh, replicate acquired knowledge. Uh, acquired for our our team to other colleagues, and promo, promote a DevOps culture inside our company and uh, the ecosystem for the IT analysts and the geo side developers to work together, and in the near future implementation of Kubernetes on Podman uh, to a, a more modern architecture. There's a lot of work uh, we have to do, but uh, we are uh, ready for it. Thank you. Sorry for my, sorry for my my rusty English, but uh, I think I can pass my ideas. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Carlos. You certainly can. 
Uh, and thanks for uh, walking us into all the details of this very sophisticated uh, solution that you, you have there. Uh, we have a couple of questions and we have time. Uh, okay. So the first one is, are you supporting GeoCML light or full? Uh, in the current time, we have only light, but uh, we are studying to transform our databases in more uh, detailed uh, uh, GeoCML formats. Okay. Uh, the next question is, you said your INDE uh, is using a different service than one geology. What does mean? What does that mean? Uh, in fact, the, uh, both of them uses the same geo server, but uh, to serve the geo CML, uh, we have to apply the, the app schema plugin to uh, to expose uh, the, the geo CML data into geo server. And uh, in the Indy, the ND, we can, uh, we doesn't need the, to use it. And uh, we, when we uh, build our container, our image, uh, we can pass the uh, how many plugins uh, could be uh, attached into the, the, the instance of Joseph in the runtime. Uh, we, we use the same images with the with uh, different environments from them. From them. Okay, uh, I think there was a, a second question uh, within this question, which is: Is Brazil having a specific data standard? like Inspire for Europe. I, I think they mean uh, metadata standards. Do you have a metadata standard that is official in, in Brazil? OK. Uh, Brazil ha uh, recently has changed the, the metadata format. Uh, uh, they called the MGB 2.0. And uh, this metadata format is now more closely, uh, more closely to the, the ISO format. Uh, I I'm not especially as to, to to say about that, but but uh, uh, what I've heard about this, uh, the difference are minimal. So so it's it's probably like a profile of ISO. Uh, yes. Yes. A nine one five. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Excellent. Uh, I think we don't have uh, more questions here. Um, I would like to ask you a quick question. Uh, because you, you, you show us your, your Docker images, uh, your Docker files. Um, and you mentioned you are using official uh, Docker images sometimes. When you create your, uh, your Docker files, did you consider basing them on the official images instead of basing them you know, directly on Tomcat or Ubuntu? Would that be something that? Uh, In some cases, yes. Uh, in some cases, you do that. Okay. In some cases, yes. <laughs> in other cases, I see some uh, visuals in, 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 in Docker in, in, in the process, and uh, we set our uh, our personal touch on them. Uh, in the in the the, the, the GeoNode course, uh, I was talking with Alessio about the GeoNode images, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm talking to him about the reconstruct of the docker files from geonode uh, the official the official geonode image is about uh, uh, uncompressed obviously is about uh, three gigabytes of uh, of size and uh, uh, we customized the docker file removing our the development libraries some comp some compilers and uh, uh, some 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 uh, some things that uh, is not necessary. The image uh, drops from three gigabytes to uh, eight thousand megabytes. Okay, I understand. So it's more efficient. So feel free to contribute to the official Docker images as well. I mean, if you have some improvements, uh, we, we are testing. You're very, you're very we are, welcome. We are testing them. I, I think that is a uh, we 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 have we have. Uh, a, a, a stable version. We 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 will send, submit a pull request to the the to the journal's repository. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, uh, Carlos, for uh, your uh, presentation. Fantastic uh, debut at uh, Phosphor G. We hope, we <laughs> hope it's it's the first time and not uh, the last time. 
Uh, and I think everyone will join me in giving you a virtual clap. Uh, okay, so thank you very much. Uh, and we'll move to, to the next presentation. Uh, so I will add...